Panama, 1914. The Early Years of the Big Dig. Written by Ken Rosignol. Narrated by J.D. Rowlett. Based on news reports from around the world and reports from a great newspaperman of the 20th century, Logan Marshall. A 21st Century News Analysis of the Greatest Achievement of the 20th Century Through the Original Newspaper Stories of the Time. This book is dedicated to all those who worked to make the Panama Canal a reality and to those who lost their lives in the process. The story of the Panama Canal also is an example of one of the greatest stories of marketing. If a great Frenchman had not thought newspaper advertising undignified France would today have the honor of operating the Panama Canal and the profit from it. A geography lesson by a lobbyist who persuaded Congress to choose Panama over Nicaragua for the canal. The choice was swayed by a chance encounter with a bookstore featuring a commemorative stamp issued by Nicaragua featuring a volcano, the Smoking Terror, Momotumbo Volcano, Nicaragua. Comic opera, revolution staged to gain U.S. control over canal. A confrontation of Colombian armed might threaten United States citizens met with landing of U.S. Marines from USS Nashville. Truce and withdrawal of troops results in Panama Revolution against Colombia. Warships can be shifted to guard America's coasts. Without the Panama Canal, the Atlantic and Pacific fleets are nearly 14,000 miles apart, and the seriousness of this matter was best evinced to the American people by the spectacular voyage of the Oregon during the Spanish-American War. The headlines, cartoons, illustrations, and news stories from newspapers around America, including the New York Tribune, the San Francisco Call, the Daybook, the New York Times, the Washington Times, Puck, the New York World, the Cincinnati Times Star, Philadelphia Evening Ledger, the New York Sun, Bemidji Daily Pioneer, the Rochester Herald, the Garden Island, the Columbia Evening Missourian. Introduction Panama 1914 is now boarding. Join this great voyage through the history of the Panama Canal which is 100 years after its completion, on the eve of a new chapter in its spectacular history. From the early explorers, many seeking a critical water connection between two of the world's great oceans to the determination of the best engineers of America, the Big Dig finally opened for shipping. You can be on board. What stood in the way of making this canal a reality? Dense jungle, bottomless swamps, snakes and wild animals, Endless mountain slides, vicious mosquito-borne illnesses, hostile Indians, marauding pirates and buccaneers, and jealous colonial-era world powers, just to name a few. The story of the Panama Canal is told in this book through the original news reports of the day, along with great photos of the construction efforts, gripping illustrations, and editorial cartoons that appeared in many publications. In addition, the detailed chronicles of veteran newspaperman Logan Marshall have been restored, edited, and abridged by the author. The story told so well 100 years ago has been newly enhanced, researched, and the verbiage brought up to date. Panama 1914 provides the reader with a full understanding of the aborted tries, the competing routes, and the lambasting of President Teddy Roosevelt at the hands of the press, as well as interesting anecdotes of history. For instance, learn about the practice of renting grave sites, much like today's storage lockers. What happened when the relatives of the deceased failed to pay the rent? Scotland sent settlers to establish a colony at Panama. What happened? Of 800 Chinese workers who arrived to work on the canal and railroad, hundreds committed suicide, and all of them either died or left due to pestilence and turmoil. Why did hundreds of them fling themselves into the ocean? A custom-made $40,000 Pullman car for a French canal company, Big Shot, was only part of the way the funds of investors were squandered in the failed effort that led to the takeover by the United States. What was the real cost to build this spectacular ditch? What happened when the U.S. House of Representatives had to decide whether to build the canal through Panama or plan a trip through Lake Nicaragua? 
the desperate dash of the USS Oregon to travel the long distance from the West Coast around South America to help defend the East Coast from a Spanish armada reportedly heading to attack. That episode helped push the decision to enable America to quickly move ships from one ocean to the other with the construction of the Panama Canal. Corruption, charges, and countercharges went on for many years after this. In March 1899, Marshall wrote, Congress authorized the president to make an exhaustive investigation as to the most practicable and feasible Isthmian route for a canal that should be under the complete control of the United States and the absolute property of the nation. A lobbyist stepped in and the key legislators learned about an explosive potential in one country, which led to a decision being finally made to build the $375 million water connection between the Atlantic and the Pacific. Step aboard the ship of history and don't forget your mosquito netting. Ken Rosignol. This has been Panama 1914, the early years of the Big Dig. Written by Ken Rosignol. Narrated by J.D. Rowlett. Copyright 2012 through 2013 by Kenneth C. Rosignol. Production copyright 2013 by Kenneth C. Rosignol.